hey y'all what's up so i'm back with another detailed tutorial today i'm doing a deep wave wig over uh four type hair and i mentioned four type hair because she has a full head of hair and she loves her natural hair she wears it frequently but she wanted to try something new and so we're gonna be putting all this hair under a wig so guys the first thing you want to do is detangle it and that's what i'm doing there to making sure it's detangled um she did a good job of coming with it like kind of detangled already so here is she's her hair is super thick and we're just going to get it under the cap so what i'm going to be teaching today is just how i did that so we're using recool hair today and they sent me their 24 inch deep wave it has 180 percent density and it has a 13 by 4 lace wig um so the lace i I think you know what I'm not sure I think it's HD or transparent it did go on pretty well on her hair so um, it might be a HD wig but it looks really nice I love how the curls are just loose and stuff I did go ahead and wash the hair and I did have to dye the knots on this wig so I've done that already so that's why the hair doesn't look like crispy fresh like it just got out the uh, box because I did wash it so with um, with that they sent me a head like scarf thing like a head cap um, I don't know why a bonnet there we go bonnet they sent me a headband they sent me a comb some clips and a wig cap and they sent me a edge brush and some lashes so today i'm not going to use the wig cap i'm going to be using a stocking cap the stocking cap method is what i'm going to be doing today this is my first time using this method and by the end of this video i'm going to let you guys know if i prefer that method or not so the first thing you want to do with hair as thick as this um is make sure you have a really good braid down and what's important about this braid down is the braids have to be super small like yes it could be smaller than this but we don't have all that time so this is the size that i'm going to be doing throughout her head and as you can see when i braid i braid back and around the nape so that's going to anchor the wig the way that i braided that first braid so throughout the um the braiding process um her neck area where her nape is is really small so i'm just like having to fit all these this thick hair and like um her hair is long and thick and i'm gonna have to kind of try to fit it in a small nape so as i'm parting these braids when i get to the back i do part the back a little bit smaller than I would the front so the front of her head like has more space but then the back is as small as possible so that I can fit every braid into it so that is important when um, you sizing up a client's head to make sure that you size up the size of their the front of their hairline compared to their nape and if they have a small nape you kind of just got to make the parts that go to the back a little bit smaller at the back and a little bit bigger at the front so this on this side I'm going to be connecting the two side braids and as I've taught you guys before is that I use the two side braids to anchor my wig so those braids are very important so always part those braids smaller and try to make the braid a little bit tight on the sides because you're going to be using those side braids to anchor your wig So I did connect the, the braid that goes across the nape with the side braid on the other side and this is my finished look for a braid down as you can see all that hair is pulled back to the back and I'm gonna go ahead and oil her scalp with my Jamaican black castor oil she did complain about possibly itchy scalp so this is gonna alleviate all that under the wig so I went ahead and moisturized her scalp with my Jamaican black castor oil Secondly, the, uh, the first thing you want to do after that is basically lay her edges and I use the got to be glued 
gel to go ahead and lay her edges then I take like a brush and like swoop swoop it back and gonna blow dry it just to keep it in place so because I did oil her scalp um, it kind of loosens the got to be gel so I went ahead and sprayed some got to be spray on her hair so that all the little hairs that did not lay down because of the oil it lay down so right now I just tested like a uh, stocking cap we thought a darker color would work but it didn't match her skin tone so I went with a lighter color and I'd rather go with a lighter color guys so that you can build the color based off their skin tone so me going with a lighter color stocking cap is ultra sheer then now I can go in with my Ruby Kisses, match it to her skin, and then um, build the color that's going to match her complexion the best. Instead of using the darkest or a dark tone stocking cap that I think might fit her complexion, I think it's best to use a light tone stocking cap just to build the color on top, especially if you already have the makeup to build the color. So here I am skin matching her the complex um the color to her complexion to make sure it's gonna be flawless. So that's what I went ahead and did. I think I'm using number 15 of Ruby Kisses. I'm using the lighter color in that pack to um, color into her hair and it matches her skin tone. I always do a skin match before I do it because you just don't want to use the wrong color. So after I've done that, I go in with the got to be glued spray and just spray along her hairline. I try not to, I try to get it as perfect as I can around her hairline. So I use my thumb and kind of like guide the spray once it's on the cap so that it doesn't go too far into her forehead. So once that is drying, I go ahead and I do my under loop and sewing method to um, get um, the the cap to stay on her head once the got to be glue is sprayed and as you can see I'm going over the braid and then kind of anchoring it at the bottom so the the thread line is always going to be under the braid if you guys get what I'm saying so at the end I just go ahead and tie that off to secure it and then I'm gonna now um now that I see that the tab next to her ear is not secured, I always go back in. I use the end of my rat tail comb and I spray the got to be spray. I hold it down um, next to her ear like that and then I blow dry it out. So the, there's always an issue with the air tab. I always have to do this on each and every client just to make sure that the air part of um, the stocking cap is secure. Cause you don't want to get the glue on their hairline so just go ahead and do that method to keep it intact so now i'm using a uh, scissors to just kind of cut along um the her hairline and if it went beyond her hairline i kind of lift it that does hurt a little bit because there are little fine hairs on your face still but just, you know, you have to, you don't want the stocking cap to be too long because then your wig might not cover it. So go ahead and lift it up if you've went beyond it and just kind of cut it off. So now I'm using um, the glue and it doesn't matter which glue you use. I mean, it does, but I'm using the glue to like lay this down and I use about three to four layers. If they're going to be wearing it for a really long time or they want to. I'm going to be using about three four layers and I always wait for the glue to dry first and when you know that it dries that it gets clear and then you can add your layers once it's clear. So now I had to color because I didn't I wasn't sure if it was Swiss or whatever lace so I went ahead and colored the inside and I'm glad I did that because it matched up really well so I still use the same color that I used to color her cap to color the inside of the wig. So now you know I'm always having big wigs but as of lately I've been having small wigs. Maybe they've been listening to my video and sending me smaller size wigs. So this wig was a little bit too small for her head so I literally had to like force it down on her forehead um, and of course it did the hairline of the wig did not match her natural hairline so I'm just gonna have to cut 
off some of the hair from the wig to match her natural um, hairline. So, um, yeah, like I really like I had to force the wig on. And sometimes, sometimes you bump into a wig that doesn't match the client's hairline at all. And you just kind of have to pull it forward to, so that the hair gets along the glue. And sometimes you can't get it to go along the glue. So just pray you have good lace and when it doesn't go along the glue line like it still doesn't show because the lace kind of like is melted into their hairline and so you can always use baby hair to cover it if if the wig does not match their hairline so now i'm just gonna sew it down and i just cut along the air to like you know form it along her ear uh, be careful when you're doing that you don't want to nip your client so that's what I did. I went ahead and sewed around the wig to anchor the wig. And now I'm going to cut. So what I like to use is one of those eyebrow razors. But I could never seem to have a sharp eyebrow razor. So I had to go back in and just kind of use my scissors to finish it off. And like I talked before in my other videos is that when you're cutting the hairline, I don't just cut like some people say cut zigzag whatever i'm basically just cutting along the glue line so whatever is attached to the glue i just cut off the excess of that so i can already tell this is really good lace and that um you know it's going to blend in well but i you know i always go back in with the got to be glue spray along the hairline and this is going to help melt it even more so even though i've glued it down i always go back in the hairline with the got to be glue spray and then put the band over it and this is going to help it even like melting even more into her skin so i let the, the band stay on for about five to ten minutes while i either style the hair or do makeup or whatever i'm doing for the day so right now i'm just gonna style the hair and the hair is really pretty all i needed was some water and some curling cream and it turned out so pretty we really didn't want it to be too defined we kind of wanted like a messy curl look and it turned out really well with that look so here i am just spraying it with some um, spray and i'm going to use the design essentials curling cream it smells really good and it just kind of defines the curl like look how pretty the, the curls are once i've put that on there i'm going to comb it through with a brush and yeah this hair again i said is from recool hair this is her deep wave 24 inches 180 percent density and so I'm going to go ahead and take the band off and since I did spray it got to be glue sprayed I'm going to go in with a comb to kind of ease it up because of course it's going to like uh, make the hair a little hard so I'm going to like use the comb to release the hair from being so hard and that's going to give it even a more natural look just try not to scrape the hairline too much and then now i'm just trying to figure out where i want her baby hair and i'm like ah uh, no it's not gonna look right good right there so always try to follow your client's natural baby hairline so her hairline um her baby hair is, is right there where i pull the hair out her natural baby hair so that's where i want to pull it so i went ahead and pulled some hair out and i curled them with my curling iron and now i'm gonna cut them with my eyebrow razor and by the ears just because the wig didn't fit the hair by the ears has to be a little bit thicker because i'm trying to cover where the hair did not fit so i go in with my erica j's mousse and i'm styling her baby hair and this process has to be super quick because once you put the glue the, the mousse on there the lace might start to lift so just be really quick with this put the band over it and this is the finished look you guys it looks super natural it blended in so well i'm so proud of how it turned out it just looked like i could barely see the lace and i'm just glad that um we did this so go ahead all the information will be in the description bar of how to receive this wig and i do have a discount code it's called db17 and you're gonna get 17 percent off this wig so go to the um description and then uh, you can purchase this wig from recool hair thank you guys for watching